Okay, so I have a new piece of gear that I want to share with you guys, and it's not something that I would normally share on this channel, but it is made by Moscow Moto, who is an amazing motorcycle luggage company, and this is not motorcycle luggage. It is, it is actual travel luggage. And this is made by Moscow Moto. Like I said, it is the Moscow Moto Mule, not the Moscow Mule like the drink, but Moscow Moto Mule roller bag. And what this is designed for is for those guys who want to go out and do flying rides. So it has a large section down below for all of your gear, your, uh, your helmet, boots, all that stuff. And then it has a second bag that attaches to the top or to the bottom bag. And this bag is designed for carrying, you know, your clothes and, and, and all that good stuff. You can really configure it however you want, but in this quick video, I'm gonna show you kind of the configuration of this, why I like it so much. Um, obviously I have not used it yet, but I have a few flying rides coming up this year. Uh, one will be, I'm going to Costa Rica in a few weeks. So I thought this would be an, an excellent bag to be able to carry my riding gear to go do a quick couple days in Costa Rica. I'm actually going there on a family vacation, so it won't be a specific fly down and ride tour for that, but we are gonna go down and I'm gonna do a little bit of riding while I'm down there. But I also have other flying rides this year, so you'll have to look forward to those. But let's get back to the bag. So on this bag, let's go ahead and remove just this top part. We'll get back to this, but we'll get that out of the way for now. So this bag is collapsible mainly just for storage. Um, but what it, the way it works is it kind of opens up like this. Kind of unzip all the compartments. Get some of the extra goodies out of here. Did pick up the packing cubes as well, which makes everything nice and organized. It comes with a specific boot bag. Nice little addition there by adding the feet in there to let you know that is a boot bag. And then it also comes with a helmet bag for putting your helmet in. This is my one of my favorite parts. So it's got these metal expansions in here. And you can kind of see, you may not be able to see real well on camera, but it's got these metal expansions and you just, you, they're tight. It's like they're made to be tight to really build some rigidity into this bag. And you just clip those in on both sides. And it creates a ton of rigidity on the ends. Now, from there, you fold these little flaps up to kind of protect your gear so that metal doesn't get in the way. But then you've got these dividers that fold up, that Velcro in. And you have all of this space here. This is super deep. I could put my freaking 10 year old in there. Not that you should. But you put, you know, a small child in there to, you know, to smuggle them if you needed to. And uh, now you've got a compartment here for a helmet or whatever else you want to kind of keep separate. You could put gear in here. You could fit like maybe a, a Reckless 80 in here if you wanted to bring moto gear along. And again, your helmet can go here, your boots down here on the bottom, maybe jersey, uh, jacket, packable jacket, any, any of that kind of gear that you're going to need while out on your trip can easily be organized and stored in here. You've got some additional zipper pockets here on both ends. Little card pack there for putting, you know, whatever you need to put there, like a bag tag or anything like that. Now you've also got these two zippers on, well, a zipper on one end and Velcro here on the other. And that is designed to be able to zip this bag on top. I'm gonna get the big bag out of the way real quick and we'll talk about the upper bag. Now, this is a massive bag, first of all. 
The main bag is 110 liters. The upper bag is 40 liters with an expandable 25 with a grand total of 175 liters of space. So like I mentioned, this bag can be used for uh, your clothing, your uh, just your regular you know, everyday clothing if you're gonna be doing both moto and, uh, and uh, just some leisure. And it is also expandable, like I mentioned. So that gives you another 25 liters of space whenever you expand it. We'll go ahead and zip that up real quick. Nice water resistant material on top. This is all rip stop. Another zipper pocket here for some quick grab items. It's fairly deep, I'd say about halfway down. You've got your buckles. So then from here, you flip the bag over and you actually get into it from the bottom side. So you can access these pockets here. And here, and then check this out. If you were to expand the bag again, You have another divider in here that supports all of this. So you have this other, like basically the same, a little bit smaller than the same size bag of what the main bag is. You have all this other space to put in your, you know, whatever other gear you had in here. The cool part about this, is I know you're thinking, Kyle, that is massive. There's no way that I'll be able to put this on a plane. Well, they designed it to where it comes into two pieces for a reason. You can haul it together as one piece. And then when you go to the airport to check your bags, you can check two pieces of luggage because if you travel a lot, you know, anything over the 52 pounds or whatever it is they, allow you to carry they charge if you go over that it's considered a heavy load and then they uh, will charge you like a hundred plus dollars to bring that bag on whereas if you're having to pay to check your bag uh you know you're only gonna pay thirty dollars per bag so you get a little bit of a, a price break there um there's also uh little pockets kind of throughout on both sides of these for to be able to store you know your, your little bag tags and whatnot but let me go ahead and I'll zip this on top of the other bag and I'll show you kind of the, the, the travel roller configuration. I do like, real quick, I do like the padded handles on these. I also like how it comes with a uh, shoulder strap to be able to carry this bag by itself if you wanna just carry that bag individually. So lots of real cool pieces on it that it's very well thought out. They have bumpers on the bottom, so that way when it's zipped onto this bag, it doesn't make it fall over. Uh, it's not like one sided, it's nice and stable. So let me go ahead and jump over to that real quick and I'll show you how that goes on. So we have this zipper right here with these two Velcro panels. Grab the side with the zipper, toss it on. The bag zips, in, zips on and Velcros on this one side. I know I'm having to like jump and like look over the bag here because it is so big. And then on this side, this panel here will Velcro and it creates one unit. Now you can secure that by these buckles on all four sides. Fold this over to make it look all nice and neat. Guess I could have finished zipping that. There we go. See, just all these little hidden pockets on here for your bag, this is a bag tag here. Um, just tons of things, typical Moscow Moto, well thought out placements of pockets and little add-ons that you may not have thought about prior to, um, you know, purchase. It's all, that's what I like about Moscow Moto gear is that it looks awesome on the website and then you get it in and you find all these little nuances about it that are just really cool. All right, so on the bottom side, you've got your handle, which also creates a support. You've got these really heavy duty rubber wheels. And then again, on the top of this bag, you've got your supports that way. 
whenever the bag is standing up, even if you have a lot of gear here in this side, it's not gonna fall over this way. So nice and rigid bag. A soft bag that has nice rigidity to it for you know whenever you do load it all up. I also like how they put the Velcro patches on there so you can put what morale patches or anything like that. You're, you know, your country flag, or again, just like some morale pouches that are pretty funny. I like to see those around on people's gear. So obviously this bag is empty, but again, you've got 175 liters of capacity if you want to use it all. Uh, in this form here, without it being expanded, it's 150 liters. So tons of room to put all of your riding gear, your moto gear, maybe even some moto luggage along with whatever casual gear you wanted to bring for when you're not on the motorcycle. This is kind of the one-stop shop bag for anybody who wants to fly and ride. They, again, very well thought out, super excited about um, using this bag on the fly and ride trips that I have coming up pretty soon. Um, check out Moscow Moto's video on this bag as well. Pete does a really good job of showing how everything goes together a little bit better than I do. He has you know, actual gear to put in there. So this was just a quick overview, guys. If you have any questions about this, I'll leave it down in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to this bag down below, but really looking forward to this, looking forward to the content I have coming up using this bag in my travels. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.